Our top story tonight on Gravitas is about the India-China border. As per reports, Indian and Chinese troops have started disengaging in eastern Ladakh at two crucial friction points, the Demchok and the Depsang Plains. Marking the first time since the 2020 Galwan Valley standoff that both countries are pulling their forces back from the region. Now, this disengagement marks another key milestone in the list of recent moves by India and China towards easing tensions and reducing hostilities. The disengagement, most importantly, also paves the way for further diplomatic engagements. But before we tell you more about what this development really means for the two countries and how the two countries actually got to this point, it's important first to tell you and understand why them chalk and the Depsang Plains are vital for India and then tell you about what has happened on the ground. Let's break down the details. We first begin with the importance of Demchok. As per reports, for India, maintaining control over Demchok is critical due to its close proximity to the Indus River. That's not just important for irrigation, but also crucial for water security across Ladakh and parts of northern India. Another importance as far as Demchok is concerned, is that it reportedly allows the Indian Army to monitor Chinese movements and activities in the southern part of the Aksai Chin region. Meanwhile, Depsang is crucial for its strategic location. Reportedly, it is just 20 kilometers from the Dolat Beg Oli airfield, and it is a link towards the action. Its geographical layout and flat terrains also make the region reportedly ideal for the deployment of tanks, highlighting its military significance. Now, given the importance of these two regions, the troop disengagement further highlights just how crucial this development really is. In fact, reports say Indian troops have already started withdrawing equipment from the two areas. Reportedly, they are relocating their gear and personnel to positions before 2020, prior to the Galwan Valley standoff. As per reports, the Indian troops are following a structured and methodical process, as outlined in the recent agreement with China. India and China have been involved in talks both at the diplomatic and military levels to resolve the differences in balance areas along the line of actual control. And pursuant to the talks, broad consensus has been achieved to restore the ground situation based on principles of equal and mutual security. The consensus achieved includes patrolling and grazing to traditional areas. As per reports, Chinese forces are also pulling back to the eastern side of a significant geographical marker in the region. According to the recently agreed solution between India and China on border-related issues, the frontline armies of both sides are implementing relevant work with smooth progress so far. Both sides have also reportedly started dismantling temporary structures that were erected in the aftermath of the 2020 standoff. According to sources, approximately 40% of the temporary structures have already been removed. Sources also said that both sides will verify the dismantling of these structures through ground patrols and aerial surveys. And that by the end of Friday, 60% of the temporary structures are expected to be dismantled. As per reports, tactical commanders from both India and China are on the ground to oversee the disengagement process and ensure smooth execution. According to various reports, in fact, the Indian and Chinese armies plan to complete the entire disengagement process by October 28 to 29, adding that troops from both sides are expected to return to their pre-April 2020 positions and restoring the patrol patterns that were in place before the tensions escalated. Patrolling is reportedly expected to resume in these regions by the end of this month. As per reports, the Indian Army has clarified that regular ground commander meetings will continue as part of the ongoing efforts to manage the situation. Reportedly, both sides have agreed on a specific number of troops allowed in patrols and each will notify the other in advance of patrol activities to avoid any miscommunication or accidental confrontations. Importantly, the Indian Army has, as per reports, emphasized that there has been no quid pro quo in the talks with China. 
You see, this disengagement process comes shortly after India and China reached an important agreement on border patrolling. India's Ministry of External Affairs confirmed the agreement between New Delhi and Beijing regarding patrolling arrangements along the LAC on October 21. This agreement has been seen as a significant step towards de-escalation and restoring normalcy in a region that has witnessed military standoffs and heightened tensions for over four years. As per reports, on Thursday, India's Union Defence Minister Rajnath Singh said that India and China have reached a broad consensus to restore the ground situation along the LAC, emphasising that the truce is based on the principle of mutual security, ensuring that the interests of both countries are safeguarded while reducing the chances of future conflicts. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi also weighed in on the situation, expressing optimism about the agreement during his meeting with the Chinese President Xi Jinping in Kazan, Russia, on the sidelines of the BRICS summit on Wednesday. As per reports, the two leaders also discussed the importance of maintaining peace and stability along the border. Prime Minister Modi said that peace on the border should be a priority for both countries and emphasized on the need for mutual trust to underpin future bilateral ties while Xi Jinping called for both sides to enhance communication and cooperation. Seema par pichle char varsho mein utpanna huye muddho par bani sahmati ka hum swagat karte hain. Seema par shanti aur sthirta banaye rakhna humari prathpikta rehni chahiye. Mutual trust, mutual respect, और म्यूचुअल सेंसिटिविटी हमारे संबंधों का आधार बने रहना चाहिए and as the troops continue their pullback and dismantling operations the disengagement has the potential to change the dynamics for both the sides can this serve as a foundation for more comprehensive peace talks can this boost their trade and economies among other benefits it will be an interesting and notable watch. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.